Yeah, that gives me... It's basically, it makes your informed tracker roll easier, and if you roll above a 20, you know er any rare Pokemon in the area. Alright. I can't hear you. Hold on one second. Okay. So, um, oh. yeah, I know it makes it easier, but what, uh, does it go with Int and Dex Mod, or just Int? Just, just int. you just need 16 Int to use it. Well, I have that. So, yeah, uh, you would roll a d20, and then add your Int Mod, and then if it's 12 or higher... So you, don't get you know, Thank yeah. You. Then if it's twelve or higher, you know what is commonly in the area. If you get twenty or higher, you know all the rare ones. Go in the order. Not only that, you also get a minus ten from any capture capturing any Pokemon in the area. Minus ten capture rate for Pokemon in the area. Yes, that is what I want. Okay, because the last DC was 15, so that makes things a lot easier. Mm. Mm. Uh, who got um, the baby food, by the way? Um, Absol, Charmander, uh, Kendo, and uh, Litwick. Did you add Absol's extra XP for the baby food? Well, you got to earn EXP first. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. So you have to, meaning you have to get into, you have to get into a battle. Yeah. Um. So Charmander hasn't leveled up yet, but I mean, he wouldn't get any new juice. Mm -hmm. God, Pokemon music is amazing. Nope. All right. Do 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 Anyway, uh, so what you guys gonna do? Uh, I'm still just figuring out my leveling up my trainer, but I'm, okay. I'm happy doing whatever else I want to do. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go into the grass. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, Alex, you can do your once per route check. Yeah. Once per route. Yeah, you could do it per route. Oh, mine says daily. So is that is that? Per oh yeah, technically it is daily, but whenever you like, you target the route. I'm sorry. So yeah. So okay. you are you are correct. Okay. Okay, well I'll go ahead and do that then. Oh wait. Why is my screen dark? Did you leave the page? Better. There we go. Yes, thank you. No problem. All right. Whoa, okay. Um, your int is only plus three? Yeah. Alright. Well, 16, 16 plus four? What now? Is 16 plus four or 17? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, plus, uh, it's plus three. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay, you rolled 18. That was really close. So, yep, I know. All right. Um, you suspect that because this area is directly uh, connected to uh, the bug catching labyrinth, that there's probably a good number of bugs here, especially with a big body of water nearby. Yeah, I wanna. Uh, yeah. Uh, aside from the obvious weedle, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff. If there's um, bee drill and stuff, you suspect there might even be combi. Actually, we should probably check by the water. Like, that would be the most, that would be the first place, like, the patch of the grass that are, like, right up against the water. Yep. And the flowers and stuff. Ooh, I want to check the flower field. You guys want to do that? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. I will go ahead, and let's see. Oh. Alright, just for you. Just for you, X. Hello. Just for you, X, because you asked for it. You asked for it. Oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> what a fucker! Focus punch! <laughs> That's a big ass bee drill. 
Yes, and you do see sitting on top of its head is a small object. And let's go ahead and... Perception check for the object! Are you going to tell us what it is, or we have to... Uh, you're going to have to find out! What check? I have 18 points. Identify normal electric in all organic items and no limiting amount of them. Oh. You guys hear that? What now? Nope. Hello? Hi there! Yeah, can I use my um, ancient uh, past check? Um, identify non-electronic, inorganic items and know everything about them. Oh, sure! Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, you can do that during your turn, though. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, you see um, a couple other bugs next to uh, Queen Hornet. You see a spinnerack and a weedle. Oh, spinnerack. There you go. Whoops. This weedle's a little derpy. <laughs> that makes it cute. I'm a weedle. I'm a weedle. Weedle. I'm a weedle. Weedle. Quickly off topic. Huh? Um, quickly off topic. You know the... Uh, uh, the special... Not, obviously, you know because I've got martial artists, but we have the, the subtypes. What are they called again? The prestige classes? Yeah, prestige. I can only have two of those, can't I? You can have three. I can have the three. Oh, okay, good. Okay. That's all I need to know. Thank you. Yeah, uh, okay. Are you picking a move, or are you what are you doing? I'm probably going to go for... Um, um, massage therapy. Okay. Massage therapy. So give me a plus... Plus one dex. I already put my skill point in dex. So that would give me 18 and 18 in my dex. Make my dex a plus four. Uh huh. That way, my next level up, I can become a ninja and then I can still got my. Then I can still, when I do eventually catch a real loop, then you become an aura user. Oh, okay. Good good thought. That's my ultimate plan. <laughs> Alright. So I'm becoming. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm being a, a massage therapist. Okay. Just to make things easy, let's say the trainers go on their own turn, and then the Pokemon go on their own turn. Let, let's kind of go back to basics a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Let me get a turn order going. I got Kendo. I got Litwick. I got Charmander. Uh, Purloin is not supposed to be going. Do you want Dark Guardian Jr. up there? Yeah. All right. Kendo, Kage. or Kage. And then... My queen, my weedle, and my spinnerack. All right, what is what is Kendo's speed, Corinne? What is what? Luna, what is Kendo's speed? Uh, one second. <laughs> I feel like he's a seven, but let me double check that. Okay. I'm gonna uh, open up. Oh, oh no, he's a nine. He's a nine. He's a nine. Ooh. He's a, he's a bird. Yeah, he's a bird. Litwick. Bird. Two. Three, I'm sorry. Bird Three. Is usually fast. Uh, Burns. Charmanders. Say that again, sorry. Charmanders. Ten. Wow. Man, you're being ballsy, but putting friggin' Absol in a battle right away. <laughs> What's Kage speed? Uh, Absol speed is eight. He's quite quick. Yep. Cool. Well, you know, we might as well give him some experience. The only problem is it's against the queen bee, so I might end up um, bringing All him right. back. But at least he'll get a bit of experience. The queen's yeah. speed yeah. is 11. Do the classic trick of putting him into your first Pokemon, and, and then withdrawing him straight out. away. Bring out Sora. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. There are rules in place directly to counter that. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, they, like, they say that you should not let trainers do that, because it will negatively affect their... Uh, what is it? Their, their confidence. Their confidence. What does that mean? It just said, uh, you know, it's just like they'll be too, to be they'll honest, be too embarrassed. Though, the battles play out a bit differently in this than they do in the actual game. So, her her Absol might actually hit pretty strongly. Yeah, that's true. All right, then I. Uh, oh shoot. Let me put her at eleven, and then my Spinarak. Which one is it? 
I'll just give it that one. Four. Hey there, my name's Son Goku, and I sometimes watch the loading crew's affairs. Sometimes I like the Pokemans, sometimes I like the Pathfindings, sometimes I just like eating muffins while watching their videos, and I hope that you did too! If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and check out the loading crew on all these platforms that you can see. Until the next time we meet, have a good one!